Hi, today we're going to be working on implicit differentiation. It is the new rule that we're going to be working on in AP Calculus. By definition, implicit differentiation is taking derivatives in terms of uh, variable and function. And also, this derivative rule is taking the chain rule in a whole new level. Now, for the past weeks, we've been working on derivatives, and you've seen a lot of notation in terms of finding the derivative of a function. You've seen f prime of x as a derivative of a function x. You also saw y prime as a notation. du dx, which you've seen in trig function, or derivative of trig function. And for today, we're going to be working on dy over dx. And you will see this type of notation more often in this implicit differentiation. Now, let's have some few examples. Now, for uh, problem number one, we're simply working on uh, one variable. We have f of x, which is equal to x to the fifth. And we know that using power rule, we'll be able to find the derivative of x to the fifth. Therefore, f prime of x is equal to the derivative of x to the fifth in terms of x. And f prime of x is therefore 5x to the fourth dx over dx. Now I want you to pay attention to this notation. We wrote or I wrote dx over dx because I want to show you that I already um, differentiated x to the fifth using power rule. That's why I wrote dx over dx. However, from the previous example, see dx over dx all the time. So uh, you're only seeing f prime of x equal to 5x to the fourth. And the reason why it's happening is because we're actually just disregarding dx over dx because dx over dx is simply 1. So we don't write it anymore. So this type of derivative is what we call as derivatives in terms of the same variable, which was visible from the previous rules that we have used, like power rule, product rule, chain rule, quotient rule, and so on. And now, on the second example, this will be a new function that I'm going to introduce, and it uses the implicit differentiation for y to the fifth. So for number two, we are tasked to find the derivative of y to the fifth in terms of x. And in this case, we still treat this as a regular function just like last week. And to derive y to the fifth using power rule, y to the fifth is simply 5y to the fourth. But this time, my notation is now dy over dx. And the difference between number one and number two is that in this case, I am not going to erase dy over dx, and it will stay as a derivative of our function y to the fifth in terms of x. Now, this second example is what we call the derivatives in terms of different variables. And in implicit differentiation, you will see this type of notation all throughout the problems that we're going to be working on today. Now, for example number three, we have two terms. We have x, or two functions, x cubed and y cubed. And we're going to find the derivative of x cubed and the derivative of y cubed in terms of x. For our first function, the derivative of x cubed in terms of x is simply 3x squared dx over dx. And for the second function, which is y cubed, the derivative of y cubed in terms of x is simply 3y squared dy all over dx. And for our final answer, to simplify our derivatives, we don't need to write dx over dx anymore because we know that it's just equal to 1. So it's now written as 3x squared plus 3y to the third dy over dx. And that's how we use implicit differentiation in terms of two variables or two functions. Now, for example number four, this is a different type of example from example number um, two and number three. Let's find the derivative of 3y to the ninth equals 1 in terms of x. So we're going to differentiate the function 3y to the ninth and differentiate 1 
on this side of the equation. So we're performing two implicit or two uh, derivative rules in this process. Now for 3y to the ninth, since we're trying to find the derivative of 3y to the ninth in terms of x, we will use implicit differentiation. And if we write this out using our power rule, it becomes 9 times 3y to the eighth dy over dx. And that is for this term alone. And on the other side, we still have to find the derivative of 1. And the derivative of 1 in terms of x, which is a constant, is simply 0 times dx over dx. Now, on the second step, if we multiply 9 times 3, we'll have 27y cubed dy dx by simplifying the previous step equal to 0. And since we're trying to find the value of dy over dx, we can eliminate 27y8 by dy dx by dividing both sides by 27y to the 8th so that we can have the function dy over dx. And in this case, all we have to do is to cancel these two terms and we'll have dy over dx as our um, function right here, which is equal to 0 because 0 divided by 27y to the 8th is equal to 0. I have two examples right here. Let's start with example number five. We'll find the derivative of this function in terms of x for 7y cubed equal to 5x. And we know that all we have to do is to separate the function and treat them as um, individual or independent um, function. 7y cubed and 5x on this side. And we'll take the derivative of each variable using implicit differentiation. For the first term, 7y cubed, the derivative of 7y cubed in terms of x is simply 21y squared dy over dx. So take note that I'm writing dy over dx in this term because we are differentiating the fu this function in terms of x, and the variable that we're using here is y. And for 5x, if we take the derivative of 5x in terms of x, it is simply 5. Now that we have 21y squared dy over dx equal to 5, we're tasked to find dy over dx. So to have dy over dx alone on this side of the equation, we divide both sides by 21y squared. So we can eliminate this two. So we'll have dy over dx equal to 5 over 21y squared. So this is our derivative from this particular function. Now for number six, I'm introducing a, a trig function, which is sine 2x, and we're finding the derivative of sine 2x equals 5y in terms of x. So we're going to split the function. We're going to find the derivative of sine 2x in terms of x, and we're going to find the derivative of 5y in terms of x. So we know that the derivative rule for sine 2x is simply cosine u du over dx, wherein u is equal to 2x, and du over dx, which is the derivative of u in terms of x, is simply 2. Using the trig rule for differentiating sine u, we'll have cosine 2x, which is cosine u, times 2, which is your du over dx. And on the other side, taking the derivative of 5y in terms of x, it's equal to 5 dy over dx. And by simplifying this equation, we'll have 2 cosine 2x equal to 5 dy over dx. And of course, we're finding dy over dx, so we need to get rid of 5 on this side so that dy over dx will be alone by itself. So divide both sides by 5 to get rid of the constant by dy over dx. Now that dy over dx is by itself, we know that our derivative for this function is simply 2 cosine 2x all over 5. Example number 7. Let's use implicit differentiation for 2x plus 3y to the fourth equals x squared. 
Now, just like um, what I've been telling you from our previous lesson on derivative rule, before you answer a problem, try to uh, think for about a few seconds and see how you're going to strategize your answer. In this case, we have three terms or three functions. And we're going to um, differentiate 2x, 3y to the fourth, and x squared. So what I did, just to show you the breakdown of what's happening here, 2x is a term on itself, as well as 3y to the fourth and x squared. So I simply take the derivative of the first function, which is 2x in terms of x, derivative of y to the fourth in terms of x, and derivative of x squared in terms of x. For my first function or first term, the derivative of 2x in terms of x is simply 2. And the derivative of 3y to the fourth in terms of x is 12y cubed dy over dx. And the derivative of x squared is simply 2x. Just like the previous example, we're supposed to find dy dx, so we need dy dx by itself. So just like a regular equation or linear equation or solving for x, we need to have dy over dx by itself. So my first move will be to subtract 2 on both sides. So I'll have 12y cubed dy over dx equals 2x minus 2. And I'll divide both sides by 12y cubed so that dy over dx will be by itself. And canceling this term right here, I have dy over dx by itself. So the derivative of this function in terms of x is simply 2x minus 2 all over 12y cubed. 